Come in, come in, come in. Today we have an interesting topic. It's about gold. Because Johan asked me whether he should buy gold or not. Okay, so uh, let's take it technically speaking, uh, why uh, gold is such a good long-term investment. So uh, as you know, uh, last year, uh, Russia was a very big uh, buyer of gold. Uh, last year actually was the biggest on record that central banks bought gold. Russia and uh, China as China, well, right? yes, and China is still going on to this, this buying spree of gold, which uh, is, is very, very good. It lends support for gold, okay? And uh, the good thing is, uh, you know, the, the new Stephen Moore, the new uh, Pre President Trump's uh, nominee for the Fed, also said that he supports the gold standard. Did he say? Did he say that? Yeah, he is when? a supporter of the gold standard. When but now, he... since he was elected, he was nominated by Trump, he said, No, I didn't say it. It wasn't me. That's why they played it on TV. They embarrassed him. See, everyone knows it's about the What's his gold name? standard. Stephen Moore. Yes, you should see that. Okay, so uh, this lends a long term support for gold. Of course, gold is a favorite of, of, of Malaysians. Uh, what about Europe? Is gold a favorite there? Is it platinum or is it silver or is it the euro or is it I, stocks? I would say yeah. it's no longer something that really people are keen, especially in the younger generation. And then uh, in Europe, some countries have VAT also, so it, which makes it totally uninteresting. So in Belgium, for example, there's VAT on silver but not on gold. Okay, just uh, say gold is now. 1,275 uh, uh, US or it's what 1,250 euro or something like that. Uh, what's the VAT? Oh, I, actually, I, I don't know because I, I didn't check, but I, I'll, I'll check. Yeah, uh, see, that, that, that sucks. But it's minimum 6% on silver, oh, yeah. I think. But on gold, there's no VAT. Okay. 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 But still, if I were there and I see VAT, I don't want to buy it because I'm paying 6% premium. Which yeah. is not a good idea. So, but I want to ask you something, Shakti. Yeah. I've, I've been following gold for, uh, Correct. for more than two years now. Okay. And what I have noticed, yes, the Russians are buying. Yes. Yes, the Chinese, Chinese are, buying. Are, are buying. Yes. But how come gold is not going up? That's we're talking what, about large yes. numbers. Yes, we're talking about large numbers of gold. This is where I said the gold market that's not only influenced by gold, it's also influenced by other things like digital gold. So it's always a manipulation. But okay, the Chinese so won't buy... See, yeah. the, the, the Russian won't buy digital, they buy data. Yeah, they buy the physical gold. So now the good thing is that people, you know, that's why I said in the longer term, it's going to go up. In the shorter term, it doesn't matter because it's all subject to a lot of market manipulation. Because, uh, you know, if you know that Russia is in a fight with the US, Russia has a trade war with China, which we hope will end well. Uh, Russia is all, and, 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 and the other thing is uh, the fight with the US is on oil, oil money, the US dollar. So it's all about, are they going to replace the US dollar? Now, if you... Okay, now if you were, uh, uh, if you knew the Russians were going to go on gold uh, in order to devalue your dollar, would you support gold? You'd find a way to bring it down, right? Just like last year, you saw Bitcoin suddenly dip from like 7 to 4. When did Bitcoin dip from 7 to 4? 7,000 to 4,000? Wasn't that the time when the height of the Chinese and uh, US trade war? When they were throwing or bobs at each other and when they were threatening each other with tariffs? Speculators. So it really doesn't matter but what we need and, and I haven't done into I haven't gone into the statistics yet. You want to know is the inventory building up or not among the large uh, among the large traders. Uh -huh. That that is what really uh, you want to know because short term it can be speculated any way they, they actually want it. And when you look now like uh, you know uh, like, like you look at Iran, okay, suddenly the US just said that, you know, that, that the ban on Iran, uh, sorry, the waiver on Iranian oil exports are now, they, they've just gotten rid of that, so you can't even import Iranian oil. Suddenly oil jumps up. Yeah. But just like that, right? And it doesn't have to do, you know, and, and so these market gyrations, I would say in the short term, you don't have to worry. 
Uh, but yeah, gold is still very far away from its high of 1,900, 2011. It's very far away from the high that you saw, which was like 1358, if you've been following it for two years. Yeah, <laughs> it's at a one year low now at one, uh, 1275. And any one of you who knows gold that will know that it's probably going down to 1250. So when it goes to 1250, I will also be buying gold in my gold account here in, 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 in Malaysia, okay? And I'll be also buying uh, silver, but that's in my trading account. So I do like uh, gold and silver. I think that the next wave is about to be physical. Uh, you gotta remember that, and, and this is where we bring you to Bitcoin, because you gotta remember that Bitcoin and gold and, uh, and silver actually spiked when the Fed minutes were out because the Fed was worried low interest rates would lead to a period of financial instability. Bitcoin spiked to 5,005, it then went down to 5,000, now it's above 5,006. Gold, unfortunately, has stayed down. <laughs> and so too silver, okay? So today, I think, I just went out just now, I think gold was at 1,270. Uh, I think it goes to 1,250. Uh, silver is at 1,480, which is like my buy zone, so I'm not going to do anything. Uh, but if it goes down some more, I will buy a little, a little bit. I'll start accumulating silver until about $14. And then just stay put. I think really that's that's that that's the way you did for 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 all these uh, physical assets. And remember that even uh, was it Morgan Stanley or J.P. Morgan or Goldman Sachs uh, issued actually a buy call on gold, saying that the buying, persistent buying of gold by all these uh, all these countries uh, will eventually lead to gold going to one four five zero thousand four hundred and. 50. And the other reason is, you know, who's another big seller of gold? Venezuela. So, you see, you know, it's like uh, if, if I were the US, I see a lot of broke countries going into gold. Why would I want a high price for gold? It doesn't make sense, you know. And, and, and I think yesterday you saw the US dollar coming back up again. So, I think there is a battle going on here between uh, the US dollar and also other assets and these other alternative assets like gold and even Bitcoin are being actually in it, being supported by, by Russia and, and, and actually China. What, what's, what, I, what I found interesting for the moment mm -hmm. is the gold-silver ratio. Yes, That's correct. interesting. That's, That's interesting. I like, it's one of the uh, yes. biggest ratio we've ever seen. Yes, so yes. So, in history, I in think. In history, yeah. So, that's like... Hmm. Yeah. And it's at the point where... The same point where it was during the 87 crisis. So, usually when it goes up there, 87, usually will go back down to 40. Meaning, what happens is silver will go up faster than gold. But it's, it's, it's a rule there. Lah. So, what I would do... Again, I haven't seen it. But yeah, I, I saw that spike. It hit 87, then went down to 84. I don't know what it is now. But... Again, if it were to hit 87 again, then if you have nothing else to do and you don't want to be on in physical like us, because we're both in physical, then you can just short the gold-silver ratio. I mean, that's another play to do it that's market neutral because sometimes I think it is very difficult to, to, to time the market. Uh, this is why I said when I buy gold, it's not actually trading gold or speculating on gold on my MT4 or my Forex account. It's really buying physical gold. But if I were, say, if I want to, that's market neutral because you just wait. Another market neutral is just you look at the gold silver ratio when it's 87 short. When it's 87 short, that's it. That's how you do it, you know. And when one day you can see that the 87 will probably go around to 40, like, and then you'll be very happy, okay? Because there's a lot of money to be made there, especially on, on, on this. Uh, gold to silver ratio. When it will happen, I don't know. No, I think I'll know. But you have to wait till Friday. Can you can you yeah. tell exactly how to short the yeah. the silver? Okay, uh, it's not you ratio. have it's not exactly. available on a lot of platform. You have to go to Saxo. You have to go to Saxo and just put in an order, short it at eighty seven. You got just, and, just and put yeah. one? Saxo. Yeah, and short, then short sell. Sell. And sell. What, but what is the ticker? Eighty seven. Gold silver ratio is X A U dash X. AG. XAU dash? XAG. XAG. Okay. Yes, this, too. this is gold to silver ratio. Yeah, a lot of people don't and so know. So you this. can buy yeah. that? Yes, you can buy that or you, you can, can sell that. Sell can that? Sell that. Yeah. And do they also have. Um, 
what do you call it, uh, futures. Yeah, they do, they do. I think they also have options. Yeah, okay. but you don't want to go into options until the time comes when the, the market is about to break down because you know it will go up, it will just start challenging that and go within the range, which is a good trade. So Shukri, yeah. as of today, mm -hmm. what should people do today? I think you should accumulate in gold and silver. Anytime it goes down, buy a little. Now it's 1480 for silver. Is it 1480 or 1480? You buy a little bit. Say you have five positions you want to buy on silver. So you buy one now, 1480. 1470 goes down, buy some more. 1450, buy some more. 1420, buy some more. Until you can't buy and then just sit down. Okay, sit down. That's it. Because it's at multi-year low. Wow. What are you afraid of? Silver and gold are now going to go to zero. And I can tell you that, uh, you know, you saw coffee. Coffee went down that day. I told you to what, uh, what was it? About 87, 87 US, right? That was a 13-year low. Immediately after that, it went back straight to 95. Now it's going down again. But that is the thing. Commodities cannot go to zero. Currencies can go to zero. If you don't believe me, look at the Venezuelan Bolivar. It went literally to zero. Stocks can go to zero. Currencies can go to zero. Gold cannot go to zero. Because you know what? If gold is one ringgit, everyone will be killing each other to have a piece of gold. Okay? It doesn't make sense. And that's why I like commodities. And when it's low, then it is the time to buy. Having said that, if you look at the charts for uh, silver, uh, multi-year low uh, since 2000. Uh, uh, also, another good chart is platinum. Uh, and, and gold. Gold doesn't look that good because high is 1,009, now it's 1,002. Yeah, okay lah. Low is about 900. Yeah, but it's still near the low lah. But you know, I, I like silver and platinum better. That's why I trade silver and platinum. Gold, I just buy the gold to sleep. I, I don't even bother seeing gold. But every time that I read in the paper, ah, gold has gone down, uh, then I would be a, 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 a more ready buyer for gold. Okay? Anything else? So this good. is good, guys. Go into gold now. You've got to start buying now. Get your discipline to do it now, okay? So see you later from Johan Hamid and Shukri Hamid. And tomorrow, well, see us tomorrow. We're going to be somewhere in Putrajaya. See you there.